I um, was sort of a non-traditional student. I started my nursing degree in 1970. I graduated in 1986. I had like different episodes where I'd take off years at a time and then I'd eventually go back to nursing, but I did complete my degree in 86. And I've worked at Charleston Area Medical Center ever since. Um, I guess the other thing is I do live in Fayetteville, but I only plan to work here for a year. But after I came to work for this hospital, there was so much going on at the hospital and there were so many learning experiences that I felt like I couldn't compromise myself to settle for just working in a smaller hospital when I really felt like this was where the most experience was and this is where that I could do the best service to my patients. And I felt like where do I want to take my family and I thought, you know, I would want to take my family someplace where I know people where I'm comfortable with. It's a... Uh, very physical. A lot of people don't know that about nursing. Nursing is very physical as very mentally challenging. I mean, just and emotionally. I think emotions are a big part of nursing. I'm beneficial in what I do. I feel like I can see it's like a immediate gratification in my job because if I can give medicine or I can do something that makes somebody feel better right away, then I can see that. The other good thing is I, I work with uh, a lot of experienced nurses, we have an all RN staff, so, and everybody has an, another ex expertise other than that. They all came from different back backgrounds like ICU, OB, you know, dialysis, different things like that. But I think you have to have, you have to care about what you do if you really want to do the job. We are pretty uh, closely interlinked with the surgery system in that we have a schedule. We know who's going to have surgery that day. We sort of pre-plan where we think they need to be placed after surgery into what kind of a, like an ICU or a regular floor bed or if they'll be going home. Most people don't remember being in recovery room, but uh, those that do, you know, they're, they're grateful for any kind of help that you give them after surgery. Um, with the Da Vinci, I think I've seen that the patients actually, even though they're in surgery for a long time, they don't perceive themselves to be in surgery that long. The pain factor has been less for us. The blood loss is much less for us. And just the generalized uh, overall patient has been, you know, they're so much easier to take care of and they just, uh, than the traditional way that we were used to doing this before.